Hi everyone, I am JD Pilot, and today I'll be making an Armour airplane review. This time I'll be reviewing this Gemini Jets Southwest 77 or 700 in Illinois 1 livery. This was a 2020 release. Alright, so yeah guys, I received this model today along with two other models. Yes, I'll be reviewing the other two models today. Um, I just, these were part of the Gemini Jets December 2020 releases. Um, yeah, so this model is, is very nice under... They they did update the 700 mold a little bit. I'll get to that in a second. So, yeah. So, this is my second video of 2021. This is my first review. The reviews have changed a little bit. Yes, the um, scoring system will be a lot different. Um, be, um, I'll be, be a lot tougher on scoring it. So, stay tuned for that at the end of the review. And also, I won't be focusing on the box as much. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, so the first impression models this is great. I really love this model. This is one of my favorite models in my collection. They did a really good job on this model. Even though it's retired... This is a really nice model indeed. All right, so I'm gonna start with the box of the model. So here is the box of the model. This is your average Gemini Jets um, Southwest box. Um, uh, in case you didn't know, Southwest and Qantas has this white style box of Gemini Jets models for whatever reason. I don't know why they have a different box. It's quite interesting. So here's the front of the box. It says made for collectors by collectors. Gemini Jets logo top, top left. And we got Southwest logo on the bottom right. Right, so, this is your side of the box. Then here's the back of the box. Um, here's the Southwest logo down there, that beautiful logo. This is as real as it gets. High collectible, severe quality, realistic metal landing gear, detail front graphics, as real as it gets features. There's a Boeing licensed product um, trademark right there. And here we got Jonah social medias. Then we got the Jonah's logo and the, and the copyright. All right, so moving on to the model itself. So here is the model. So I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Um, all right, so starting off with the nose of the model. Uh, here we got the nose of the model. We got Illinois one on the on the bottom left. Here we got the cockpit windows, looking pretty good. Um, so here's the front of the model. So here we got the oversized um, gear doors. Yeah, that that's one of my um, Grice Wells models. The gear doors are way oversized. They're twice as big as they're supposed to be. So. That's really the only issue with this model. Is this the gear, gear size, the gear door size, and the landing gear? Because uh, you can't really tell with this, but the landing gear is a little too high. The reason why they um, increase the height of it because it, the model was used to be this mold used to be very tail heavy. Um, yeah, so now it isn't tail heavy, which that's a good thing. Um, yeah. All right, so here we got the eagle. That's beautiful. They did a good job on the color. Um, the pictures may look like the color was off, but. Really, in real life, it doesn't look too bad. So here we have the L1 door. We got a little heart symbol. Here we got an antenna on the bottom of the aircraft. Here we got some windows. Here we got a little um, United States of America badge. Here we got the emergency escape door uh, with emergency escape pass on the window. I mean, not on the window, on the wing, sorry. Um, here we got the L L2 door. Here we got the winglet um, right here. Yeah, the wing has a little wing flex to it, so... Yeah, then here we got the engine right there. Here's a, here's a bird's eye view of the model. Here we got a beacon light, we got an antenna. Here we got a Wi-Fi box, and we got the beautiful Southwest tail. I really love the tail on the models, this is beautiful. Here we got the registration, this registered November 918 Whiskey November, this is United States. Here we got the vertical stabilizers, the horizontal stabilizers, looking pretty good. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Oh yeah, the gears do, the landing gears do roll in the small. So here we have the APU down there. Here we have the Gemini Jets logo with wing landing gear. Here we have a stand hole and antenna. We have the nose landing gear. And here's the other side of the model. Sorry about that. It is old. Here's the other side of the model. Same deal as the side I already reviewed, but this time it has a bag hole. There's one right there. There's one right there. I'm going to give you guys some final shots of the model. I'll be the review. All right, so that doesn't conclude this model airplane review, my very first of 2021. So, all right, so that doesn't conclude this model airplane review. So now I'll be giving the model score. So, the scoring system has changed a little. I'm very excited about this. So we we have four categories. I've dropped the box scoring. I now I'll no longer be scoring the box. I'll be scoring it. It's off a quality control. So that'll be a new category. Um, yeah. So each scoring each score is now based off of ten points. Um, so I'll be scoring the 
the mold of the model, the colors of the model, the detail of the model, and the quality control of the model. So, all right, so starting off with the all right, so starting with the first category, which is the mold. So for the mold, generally just we're receiving a eight out of ten. The only reason why they're receiving eight, not a perfect ten, the uh, the the landing gear height is way too tall. And has a little wing flex too, so that's why they'll be receiving only an eight out of ten. Out if it didn't, it was if it wasn't for the gear, I would actually give them a nine on it. So, yep. All right, next category is the color of the model, and the color is just amazing. I've flat out amazing. Um, I really like the color. They did an amazing on color. I'm sorry, the lighting's not the best right now since nighttime. So for the color, they'll be receiving a nine out of ten. Next category will be. Next category is the detail model. For the detail model, they'll be receiving a 9 out of 5. It's a good job, Jim and Jets. And the final category is quality control, and they'll be receiving a 9 out of 10 for that. I haven't seen many 700s come broken for Jim and Jets. Um, I think, yeah, I've only seen a couple come broken. So, yeah, so good job, Jim and Jets. And, yeah, so that does conclude this model airplane review. So, yeah, so I this is the first on YouTube of this model. Um, I will be reviewing the Louisiana one tomorrow, so stay tuned to review for that. And yeah, so yes, yeah, so I highly recommend going by this. This is still in stock in a couple retailers. Um, so yeah, um, this is mostly sold. I think couples still have it. Generous website still has it. So if you really want a small good Generous website, keep in mind this is retired. So just don't get it because you need a Southwest model for your airport. Just I just got it for looks. So yeah, so. Yes, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I am JT Pilot. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Can we get to 150 subscribers by the end of this month? You guys decide. Yes, so thank you guys for watching, and bye. Have a wonderful day.